Hi, welcome to the Center of Math. For this week's problem of the week, we want to find uh, this sum here, uh, sum of 1 over product of a sum of this set. This outer sum is taking over all possible permutations of the set 1, 2, dot, dot, dot L. So if the set was 1, 2, the, all the possible sums would be over 1, 2, 2, 1. Uh, so let's first calculate the sum for just L equals 2. The sum becomes I'm going to call this So for L equals 2, we see sum 2 equals 1 over A1 times A2. So this might suggest a general rule that that the sum SL is just, in fact, 1 over the product from 1 to L of AJ. Now, let's assume this is true for L equals N. And then let's try to find the, the sum for, the, for N plus 1. So we want to find this sum given that given that the sum for n is just 1 over uh, the product from 1 to n of all the a's. Uh, so now uh, let's uh, partition uh, this sum. Let's partition it into, so we have all these permutations. We're going to partition it into one set of permutations that, let's say, has uh, AKN equals A1, another set where AKN, AKN plus 1 equals A1, another set AKN plus 1 equals A2, and so forth. Uh, for example, let's show this for, uh, for N plus 1 equals 3. This permutation is going to look something like. So for n plus 1 equals 3, we see we have six different permutations. We're going to divide this up into, uh, into three different sets, where in one set, 3 is the last number, another one, 2 is the last number, another one, 1 is the last number. So if we uh, do a partition like this for the general case of n plus 1, and consider just the sum, the sums for one of these, one of these sets, uh, we'll see that First, first the, last, the last term in this product is always the same. It's just a sum of all the numbers. We're going to factor that out. So we see that uh, S prime n plus 1, or the sum for just one of these uh, sets of our partition is equal to 1 over the sum of from 1 to n plus 1 of aj, so the sum of all the elements, and then the, the sum over all the permutations of just n elements. These n elements being every element except a of k of n plus 1. And so uh, recall that we assumed that for Sn, uh, we can say Sn equals 1 over uh, product from j equals 1 to n of aj. So we can say here so we can simplify our sum of just uh, of just one of the sets of our partition into 1 over the sum of all the numbers times 1 over the product of every number except a, K, N plus 1. And this, we can re rewrite a little bit. Uh, 
So we can re, uh, rewrite this as 1 over the sum times a k n plus 1 over the product of all the elements in our set. Uh, and note that note that the product of from j equals 1 to n plus 1 of a k of j is in fact equal to the, the product from j equals 1 to n plus 1 of just a j because multiplication is commutative, we have all the same numbers, so these two products are equal. Uh, and so now let's uh, sum all of our different sets of our partition. So if we sum all of our different subsums, uh, we're going to see we can factor out uh, this sum here. It's the same for every set. Uh, this product here, because of this, is going to be the same for every set. Now, a k n plus 1 uh, will take exactly one value from our initial uh, starting set, our a1, a2, dot, 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 a n plus 1. So when we sum up all the different subsums, we're going to see that this sum is, in fact, just equal to the sum of all our numbers. And so if we cancel out these two terms, so if we simplify, we get that s m plus 1 is equal to 1 over the product from j equals 1 to m plus 1 of a j. And this comes from assuming that uh, s n is a uh, similar form. And we know this is true for n equals 2, so it's true for n equals 3, and so forth. And so it's true for all uh, n. All right, and that's our problem of the week. Uh, thanks for watching. Please check out uh, sensormath.org, check out our blog, and follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Thank you.